Argentina against Scotland. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Hi everyone, and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Now the pass. And he's there to cut it out. Looks to slip it through. How about it? Ball's loose, who's getting there? He's going after it. Aimed long and direct. Decent ball. Ambitious to say the least. He seemed to be in a hurry to get that in. Messi brings the ball forward. Tries a through ball. Argentina! And it's Argentina in front! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Argentina break the deadlock it's so often the case with goal scorers little influence and all of a sudden bang so they got the only goal to make it 1-0 and it's Higuain Messi Plays it out to the flank. Fletcher gets it back. Aim forward. Higuain tries the route one option. Keeps everyone guessing. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Di Maria hoisted towards the area. Cross deflected behind for a corner. And it's been taken short. And it's Rojo. Marcos Rojo battles to win it back. Defence has got rid of that. Brings it forward. That'll be the final action of the first half. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Argentina, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Argentina carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Steered out wide. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Now it's Di Maria. Higuain. Higuain shoots! Gonzalo Higuain! He is sensational! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting.
Argentina have a couple of goals without reply it's 2-0 well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other is there any support he might not need it tries to get it forward quickly Scotland have opted to really stretch the game now yeah that's pretty evident but What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Tosses it through. They've managed to get it away. Fletcher has been caught there, it's a foul. his head to it no he didn't quite meet it right this defense just doesn't trust itself to to play a higher line frighten the people getting in behind yeah absolutely it just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind but the runners from midfield too drilled in low goalkeeper's ball it back yeah he's fouled him there and that's going to be a booking some of them aren't happy with that challenge and they're getting involved steady And that's a goal kick. Iguain is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and having notched the... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. The defence can get it clear. Looks like a good ball through. Four added minutes on the board. in a foot to win it back Iguain Bilia takes control of it and he's on the move and there goes the final whistle Argentina emerge victorious here and it's no more than they deserve they were simply the better team how do you look back on the game then Jim well, we know clean sheets are always an important ingredient in any recipe and while delighted with the...